chemistry. Random box. Hmm. I wonder if it's a bomb that they're being made. <laughs> Welcome back to another video episode of Beholder. I'm supposed to say the title when I do that, but completely forgot what game I'm playing. Another episode of Beholder! Woohoo! Nice. In the last one, we restarted the whole thing. Uh, exactly not supposed to go full on evil, you get killed. Uh, but yes, we're back. We got a lot of stuff to do. Uh, actually, having to redo a couple of stuff because for some reason, uh, it never loads in properly. Anyway, yeah, we got new clients, new clientele people coming in. Yes. Anyway, we're back. Let's all see what this day, what today's episode has to offer us. <laughs> yep, here we go. We got our new people coming into this apartment that we have already. Ooh, nicely done. Uh, what else? Oh, cool. I can move in a new person as well. A young student looking to rent a room. Nice. Okay. Um, are we getting any new stuff? I'm not sure. Uh, what's over here? Alright, nothing. Damn, yeah, nothing new. Just like, get Clara some booze. Alright, yeah, we got a new person who's moving into the next floor. Ah, the doctor has a quest for us in which that's involving us needing to get money for Martha. Wait, I think? Yeah. Already cured Martha. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's right. We also put propaganda posters. Forgot about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, hey. Uh, you got booze. You got alcohol. Shit, yeah, you do. Ooh, wine? I think you're looking for... Yeah, this. Hey, handsome, yeah, uh, give, give alcohol, you ask for alcohol, what did you bring? Whiskey? Whiskey, okay. Last time I danced so hard I broke both heels and a couple of tables, good times. <laughs> what? Also, we got... Hey, come on. We got ourselves a new thing here? Alright, water tragedy. A tragic incident took place yesterday near Port Shear. <gasps> the Goliath, which was carrying a load of coal for export, was set on fire and sank. By the time the Coast Guard found the barge, uh, there was no one left to save. Those who escaped the flames must have drowned or been attacked by sharks. <laughs> Allegedly, the vessel was also carrying 10 to 15 unregistered passengers. Oh no. Oh no. A shimmer. An investigation is being carried out. And a vacancy for a barge has opened on the route. Oh no! Damn! Damn, now that's sad. Alright, yes. Uh, Shimmer's death on the barge. <gasps> Have you read the newspaper, Carl? The barge on what the Shimmers were sailing wrecked. Nobody res was rescued. Do you hear that? Nobody. It's their fate. If you hadn't tried to help them, they might still be alive. If they had been alive, Klaus would have been jailed, and Maria, the, uh, damn, <coughs> would have been already, would have already been on the streets. This is the dark side of irony, Anna. Life is unfair. Uh, what's this? How may I help? Uh, need fit for groceries. Okay, we got money for that. Thanks. Grocery money already done. Ooh. And you? Hello. Results. All right, yeah. What's wrong with my daughter? I don't have- I don't want to scare you, but Martha isn't well. Oh crap, I haven't even started my goddamn timer. Martha isn't well. She has bibacillar rail, rallis in the lower half of both lungs. She needs antibiotics ASAP, and as much as I love domestic medicine, she needs the imported stuff. Local, medi local medication will only make it worse, and it's already serious. Delays could result in a fatality. It's 20,000. Goddamn, 20,000? Per course, sorry, but I couldn't find anything cheaper. Quotes, prescriptions, regulations. I'm, I'm risking a lot to help your baby. 
God damn. Bam. Oof. Don't know what the hell to do. Anyway, be right back until something important does happen. Oh, we can actually talk with the new people here. We can rush, come on. Damn. What do you want? Meat. Hello, I'm Carl the Landlord. Dora Noel, nice to meet you. Let me know if you need anything. Of course. <laughs> Ask about the previous address. Where did you come from? Who cares where I came from? Uh, who cares where I came from? All that matters is that I'm here now. I like it here. Ooh. It's less crowded than the capital, and everyone has a job. Do you like it here? Uh, yeah, sure. See, we have a lot in common. Ask about the news. What's new? Alas, I have nothing to tell you. I don't know anybody anybody here. I got cold on my first day here. <laughs> Damn, okay. Alright, yeah. Goodbye. And uh No! Oh my god, I couldn't talk to the man. So sad. Also uh, Oh crap, they're all kinda here. And I can't do that. Alright. All forms of entertainment are prohibited? <laughs> Alright, yeah, pistols, stuff like that. Hmm. Wait, and... You. Oh no, you don't have a pistol. <laughs> I thought someone here had a pistol. I got shot by one a couple of times. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? A new thing? Leo Giz <laughs> Gizdek is the winner of the annual labor lottery. He has faithfully served his country for 20 years without a single violation. He is, a, he is the pride of the state. The prize this year is $100,000 or whatever the money is in this world. Remember, every citizen with more than 15 years of work experience can take part in the lottery. Interesting. Interesting. Hey, wait. Who the hell is this man? Um... Uh, what? George Danton? Get acquainted? Hello, Carl. Who are you? A new tenant? I know everyone who lives in the building, but this is the first time I've seen you. We don't know each other, but I hope we become friends. My name is George Danton. How can I help you? I made inquiries, Carl. I think you're a decent man who can be trusted. After all, I want you to do a simple but important favor. What should I do? A young man, full fledged brookish. Do we know him? Is this this guy? Oh yeah, it's that guy. <coughs> Lives in your building. Can you give him this box? Why don't you do it yourself? I have my reasons. You'll know them after you do me the favor. There's only one condition. Do not open the box. Are you trying to get me mixed up in something illegal? Aren't you afraid I'll report uh, this to the quarter? Fear divides people. I assure you, we have opposing goals. The only thing you need to know now is that we'll pay for a good price. Ooh, for this case. Very well. Do you agree? Take the box and give it. All right. Print the office. Okay. Well, the money won't hurt. Give me the box. Thanks, Carl. We'll pay our debt. Okay, interesting, interesting. I am confused and scared. But Carl, purchase for the house? What? Carl, buy us a radio. Are you a manager or not? I always hear the news over the phone. Oh, um, what? Anna asked me to bring her a radio. What? How do I do that? Does this man have a radio? Oh! Crap. It's right there. It can take a while, right? Oh no, don't tell me it's the sun with the, the money problems. Also, crap. Yeah. Friend. I'd like to get acquainted with you. Meet. 
Hello, my name. Uh, hello, I'm Carl the Landlord. Full Fledel Brookish. Full Fledel. Yes, sounds very German. <laughs> a student at the university. Uh, ask about the name. My father picked this silly name. <laughs> Mom calls me full. I don't like that either. <laughs> Learn what it means. Oh, end the dialogue. <clears throat> Alright, ask. Uh, talk about the university. What's your specialty? Chemistry. It's a nice university and such. Chemistry. Random box. Hmm. I wonder if it's a bomb that they're being made. <laughs> <coughs> it's a nice university and such. We chop up different frogs and then mix some shit in flasks until it bubbles and smokes. I see you don't find what you're studying to be inspiring. I just don't understand how chopped up frogs can help me to become a person who can make the world a better place. Alright. Oh, ask about George Danton. He rescued me. Other than that, all I can tell you is my life would be completely different if it weren't for- Oh my god, I just realized George Danton kinda looks like Tom Cruise uh, in a... Is it Operation Pegasus, that film? Where, you know, he's a he's a Nazi, but kind of one of the good Nazis, you know, he was trying to kill Hitler mm. and uh, surrender the, the Nazi party over to the Soviets, I think. That's the real history, I think. Uh, anyway, yeah, it kind of looks like that. Are we making a bomb? Are we going to try and blow up a high rank person in this world? <laughs> All right. I was asked to give you this box. Perfect. Danton wasn't wrong about you. Here's the money. Ooh. Then I'll move out in a couple of days. It's it's time for great deeds. Oh, really? Just that? Oh, damn, I am just worried. We need ten more for this. And as for the sun... Ooh. Oh, Clara! In my newspaper article, Clara is an adventurer. One should expect. Oh no. Mm, Clara was. Clara's dancing. That's illegal, Clara. Hi, handsome. Oh, hello. Oh, I can't talk. Mm. <laughs> hey, uh. Oh! What you got? What do you got for me? Ask about Martha's. Ask what happened. I'm on the verge of perishing. Make her go away. She di she disappointed me. <gasps> Keep singing all day long. She took my collection of rare wines to her friends and didn't even apologize. She danced and sang while I was dying of a terrible headache and no signs of remorse. How can I help? Make her go away, please. I can't do it myself. And I want to go on a cruise. I even bought the ticket. Okay. Okay, I'll evict her. Alright. Okay. Time to, uh, report. Write a report. Uh, who... Who are you again? Clara. Clara? Clara. Clara. Living in apartment two. Ooh. Violation. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, dance. 6047. Okay, nice. It was right there. From well, today. Right? You get that today? Uh, Clara. Dude. Send. Nice. Oh my god. Ooh. Uh, we got also a phone call. Pick up the phone. Accept a private call. Hello, this is Carl Stein. With whom am I talking? You've heard about the National Labor Lottery, right? Its winner, Leo uh, Gizdek, is looking for a place to stay. Ooh. We want you to give refuge to this lucky man. Uh, what good will that do? What good will that do, you? Who are you? We're... we're well-wishers. He'll soon face a thousand temptations, bandits, 
and Frog will be waiting for him uh, around every corner. We want to help. After he moves in, you must convince him to invest his winnings in our production. Our horns and hoofs trust benefits, the science of breeding and caring for farm animals. We help farmers sell every part of an animal carcass. They don't waste a thing. Okay, interesting. <coughs> we send the meat to the stores and the skins to the shoemakers and we use the rest for preparing preparing our proprietary jellied meat. Is it jellied meat? You not like jellied meat? How can how can one say? Consider this a warning, Carl. If somebody stands in our way, he becomes jellied meat himself. Soon our jellied meat will become a national good. Oh, damn, also this action music is happening because we got our little, uh, little guys over here. Well, all you need to do is to convince Leo Gizdig that the future belongs to our jellied meat. Gizdig. Yes. But who thinks up such names? It's a real tongue twister. Persuade him to invest money in the Horns and Hoofs Trust. If you do that, we'll give you a generous petition of what he gives us. Okay. All right. So, uh, yep. Move in, Leo. Nice. Let's head up there and uh, open and start putting in what do you call it? At least a single security camera for now. Nice. Good. Also, boom, we got her out of here. Bye, Clara. Bye-bye. <laughs> so yeah, that counts, right? I'm done with that? Nice. Ooh. Good. Good money. Damn, just 250. Hey, I did what you asked. Hello. Talk about Clara's arrest. Clara was arrested. Everybody lies. And I bought the cruise tickets. I think they'll make you happier than me. Take it. I don't want any reminder. Okay. Can I sell this for much more better money? You seem to have a quest for me. Hello, Leo. Meet. My name is Carl. I'm the landlord of this building. I respectfully thank you for taking in more tenants. I am Leo Gizdig. I uh, will be here for a few days attending to an important matter. What brought you to Helmer? I feel fortunate for the first time in my long, difficult life. I won the labor lottery and have come to the award ceremony. Oh, nice. Okay, uh, talk about the lottery. How will you spend your winnings? I have a difficult dilemma. My sister's house burned down recently. She and her family live close to the front line. I want to move them here. Oh, but I have no family. My co-workers are my family. I'm also going to buy new work shoes and a case for my tools. I'm buying gifts for my niece and nephew. I found a shop where you can buy honey cockerels. Honey cockerels? And cranberries and well, with sugar. Great deal. I love cranberries too. I love cranberries too. Remember, you can buy only two packs at a time. Two packs? Then I'll have to few then I'll have to make a few trips. Uh, there are so many barges loaded down with coal. Isn't that amazing? Okay. Ask what he wants. If you want something. I need your help, Carl. I have to go to the administrative offices tomorrow. There's going to be an award ceremony. I'm simply I'm I'm simple man. I'm a simple man. I work at a factory. Factory? I've never owned a suit. I bought a two-piece suit at the funeral shop, but there were no ties. The department store is also out of ties. Could you help me to find a tie? Everyone will be okay. I just can't go shopping. I'll try to think of something. I know you'll be a big help. I'll pay you. Oh, nice. Mm. Not enough, though, but... Alright. 
will do. Also, do you have something to tell me? Uh, you don't want to talk to me? What the hell? Oh, now you want to talk to me? What the hell? <laughs> yes, father? Uh. Oh, yeah. Do you know the student named Full Fed? Full Fleddle Brookish? What an awkward name. I don't know anything about him, but I can ask. Please do. He lives in our apartment, and it would be nice to know more about him. Oh, okay, but, uh... Oh, uh, yes, Father. Ask about the news? Uh, damn. What do you mean about that? Uh, learn what happened. Are you in trouble at the university, son? Yes, Dad. The Dean has ordered us to take part in another fundraiser. Yeah, I already know about this one. Goddamn, a lot of money. Are they crazy? Our people don't have that kind of money. If things continue to go like this, we'll have no one left to teach. Alright, though perhaps that's the intent. Okay. Yeah, alright. Yeah, about the money thing. I'll try doing stuff like that. Anyway, be right back until something important does happen. Holy shit, damn! Boom, we sold those tickets! Oh my god! Holy shit, perfect! Uh, get the radio. Okay, thanks. Go to the wife. Look, I got us a radio. Nice! <coughs> but Carl, uh, talk about the radio. You bought the radio? I've already chosen the spot for it. In your office. I did it. I did, I did. Stop nagging me, Anna. Huh, here's your radio. Thanks. The 86 points, the 81.6 frequency rate broadcast fairy tales for kids. They make us sad, but we'll listen anyway. Oh, nice. All right. Oh shit! Oh my god, we got we got a call. We got a call. <coughs> shit, I'm so far away. All right, pick up the phone. It's a private call again. <coughs> shit, George Danton. Good afternoon, Carl. This is George Danton. Where did you take my number? Our unit has friends everywhere. All I want uh, from you is an explanation about which unit you're discussing. <laughs> I have a family. I must know what you're getting me into. We're trying to make the world a better place, Carl. It's impossible with the current government. As you know, the current government is unwilling to change. What's your unit's name? Unit of Confident... Confident Revolutionists? The New Terror Movement. The New Tomorrow Movement. <laughs> Why are you being sarcastic, Carl? We might have become best friends. You can earn the money you so desperately need for your family. Who well, if I refuse to deal with you and report you to the Quarter? I'm afraid your refusal can lead to un unpleasant consequences for both of us. I repeat, we have friends everywhere. I know it. I knew it. There is something behind your chatter about a better tomorrow. One can try. One can fry eggs without breaking them. How? How? That's just called boiled eggs. But minus the whole frying part. You have kids, and therefore must know that it means to sacrifice yourself for the sake of future generations. Would you offer to sacrifice someone else? Me, for example? Not necessarily, Carl. You just need to agree to be ready to help our movement. I really don't have a choice. What do you want from me? Find an apartment in your wonderful building for our faithful comrade. His name is Antoine Grubrick. Grubick. <coughs> he will stay in the building for about a week. Ask about the reward. Let's say I agree. How much will you pay me? 3000 uh, this will be the beginning of our collaboration. Alright, ask about the person. Who's that? Antoine is very important to our unit. He's a printing specialist and will print brochures uh, criticizing the current state government. We'll owe you if you hide him. Alright, we're planning to go on strike at the factory in the near future and need those brochures. It won't work without them. Alright. Talk about the country. If you don't force me to help the revolutionary movement, describe your perception of the state of our country. 
I must know why I'm putting myself at risk. Why do you need an explanation, Carl? You already know everything. Total control of people, ridiculous bans on everything, no freedom of speech. What do I get in return? Cards for clothes, food, soap? People shudder at night when they hear the slightest sound. They're afraid someone will come and take them away. What do you think of reports written by one family member to turn in another? Is it okay? What about your job, Carl? What normal society can count it appro appropriate? I do the job I was assigned. I don't have a choice. You always have a choice. Help us, Carl. Our children will have a society where they won't be jailed for their choices. Agree to help. As far as, as far as I can see, I have no choice. Antoine Grubrick, I'll see what I can do. Great, Carl, be careful. Okay. All right. Let's get his room ready. And move in Antoine. Oh, we got other people. Shit. Uh, wait, no, that's not Antoine. Uh, where are you? Antoine, there you are. Rent. Oh. Oh, a uh, student moved out. Okay. Uh. All right. Yeah, let's get that guy. And also, we got a thing here. Ah, uh, shit. Pick up the phone. Private call again. Thanks, Carl. I'll send the money to your account. Please help Comrade Grubrick the best you can. He's doing an important thing. Help us and spy. Do you understand me? Yes, I understand you. Yeah. Never doubted you. I'll call you in a couple of days and see how you're doing. Alright. Oh, cool. We also got a thing here. Oh, crap. Several unidentified individuals dressed in white robes snuck into the university and threatened to cover the blackboard with words uh, that would tarnish the, the dignity of... Miroslav Pepper. Prof Pepper resigned and was rushed to the hospital. Eleven people were reportedly killed during the arrest. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. <coughs> Wait, yeah, I want to talk to people about... Uh, damn it. No, nothing there. Where the hell do I get a tie? You. You have a tie. Damn it, no, nothing. Our, our wife. No, our wife is going to bed. Wait, no. The wife is not going to bed. The wife is just standing there. Okay. We can pay. We can pay. Oh, wait, yeah. Uh, did you find out anything about him? Yes, he's a chemistry major. He was banned for anti-state behavior. People say he told told an awkward joke about joke about the great leader. He's a fool. What would you expect? Also, <laughs> yep. Uh, got the money. Hey, Dad, can you help me? You know I don't want to be a minor. <sighs> Give the money here. It took a lot. Out. <clears throat> it took a lot out of me to get that much. I hope you won't fail. Hope you won't fail me. <clears throat> Thanks, Dad. You're the best. I won't fail you, I promise. God damn. Look how much money was taken. But now, we got to... You know... We'll get more... Money. Tch. <clears throat> Oh god, that went down the wrong pipe. Well, it seems like this is where I'll be leaving us all off. Damn, pretty good. We gave money to our son, where we seem to be helping revolutionaries and other stuff. Anyway, this is where I'm leaving us off. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>